good morning and welcome to today's upload. It's going to be a vlog and we're leaving Birmingham. Woo! <laughs> we're going to London for the day with my mum and this one and this one. We're going on the slow train, of course. <laughs> and the slow train is cheaper. It's £60 for four of us to get there, return, and we got on all the tubes and everything. So this one here, turn around. We have plaited her, no, not him. We've plaited her hair. Uh, because she wanted like a crimped look. So we've plaited her hair and then I just put a straightener down it. It's kind of here, a bit munchkin. Just put, it's gonna be, that's better. Plaited her hair, I've just put, a, so this was last night when she was wet, just put a straightener on it and um, we're gonna take them out. Whoop. And then you get nice crimped hair. Look at that, like beachy wave. So I'm just gonna finish her hair, finish doing my makeup, put some tan lotion on. Cause it is hot, isn't it? Yeah. It's hot. It hasn't been hot forever yeah. and now it's hot. And then we're gonna go and we're so excited and it's only half past seven. Have I? Let's finish that here. I'm, hand I'm handing you over to Erin who's gonna film an OOTD for me and Ethan and then we'll do hers. Okay. I'm giving you summer, summer vibes. We've got brown saltwater sandals. We've got an old Primark frock. If you follow me on Instagram, you know I always add a belt, old, don't know where it's from. Old Primark jacket, brand new Oliver Bonus summer bag, hair curled, summer ready. A jacket, I've got a denim jacket with a pin and um, a striped top. It's got Mickey, it's got Disney on the back as well, which you can't quite see. Yeah, so this is this is um, all H&M, I think, you're wearing yeah. today. And then, um, these shorts and a striped top and then a bag. And his brand new bag from Home Bargains. Yeah. And right. his new shoes. Oh, and his Nike. little Nikes. And Erin is giving you wavy beach vibes. Come over here because it's a bit... Wavy. She's giving you wavy beach vibes. Okay. She's giving you stitch um, denim jacket turn around. She's giving you stitch lounge fly queen. She's giving you a Primark. I don't know if that is Primark. H&M. I feel like it's somewhere else actually. Jumpsuit. She's giving you matching sandals because we're twinning. And she's giving you brand new earrings that she got from Claire. Wait, and this is the back of my jacket. Oh, sorry. There's the back of his jacket. Are we ready to go? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go and see yeah. Nanny San. High five. High five. Oh. High five. Very funny, like right. We're in the car on our way. Um, hmm. Both kids have got a bag each. I've got so much highlighter on. I am literally <laughs> glowing. That's right. Both kids have got bags, and in the bags they've got like a pad each, haven't you guys? Yeah. I've got got them like a little pack of crayons each. I made them a little pack of snacks each, a juice each, um, fidget spinners. Erin's got a book, I think, haven't you, Erin? Yeah. A pop, those popper things, those popper things, and then in my bag I've got um, a charger, my camera, I've got some tissues, I've got masks, I've got um, some hand sanitizer and also hand sanitizer wipes in case we eat out and I just want to wipe the table or on the train we can wipe the table just to make sure everything's safe. Um, in other parts of the world, Erin and Ethan don't have to wear masks they are i know in some parts like in america i think it's over like two after wear masks we don't have to do that in england so they might be wearing masks is it over 11 is it 11 and over know. or is it 12 11 and over. 11 and over so the kids won't be wearing masks today obviously me and mom will everywhere we go um we have to wear masks on the train the whole time the tubes in the station in shops but like walking around we don't have to in england um so yeah very excited we're looking like we're getting to the train station <laughs> as per usual insanely early because that's just what we do but it means i can get my tickets go for a wee meet my mom can't wait see you maybe on the train i might film a little bit of a montage but i don't really fancy speaking on the train with a mask on so we'll see might see you in london Yay. so this is the train station train we are station. coming to <laughs> train station <laughs> this is like a cute train station it's called moore street and it is a very like old-fashioned yeah uh, the main train station is down there 
and it's called Grand Central and it's like got a big shopping centre and this here is called the Bull Ring yeah. and this is a big shopping centre as well in Birmingham Why where you go in yeah well it's called it, there is a big bull at the front but it used to be like um well they have like the bullwing markets you know my nan used to come and get like fish and meat and fruit and they built a big shopping center uh yeah. that also is a shopping center there that in fact that guy's there is the back of the world's biggest primark yeah. that there the whole of that and all down the bottom is a primark <laughs> these are our buses <laughs> just giving you a little tour this is not a great part of uh, we call it town it's not a great part of town it's just like transporty stuff um, but we're waiting for nanny aren't we yes. we thought we'd wait out here so we don't have to have our masks on and then when we get in there we have to put our masks on so this is the train station that we are at that there is the ball ring yep. they're currently cleaning it Stephen says I don't know why but it's just a big slightly strange looking shopping centre there's a train station and um, we're here with mum there's Selfridges oh no there's a car that's a car park yeah this is a cute train station this is a little one so this is you can get two trains to London you can get one that goes there in like an hour and 20 minutes and one that goes there in like an hour and 47 I think there's another one that goes takes over two hours but they're building a train you're, you're like I don't care about your train facts but they're building a station are they building a station that takes an hour to get to London Got no there's idea. one like a I'll quick one dead before that's built. <laughs> <laughs> oh right okay leave me on that bombshell Circus. Piccadilly Circus. Piccadilly Circus. Oh, smiley, darling. Hey. This is Piccadilly Circus. Um, it's famous for like these big, I suppose, like what you get in um, New, York. New York. Yeah. And this statue. And we're going to go and walk down to Leicester Square to the M&M shop. Yay. Yay. Do you want me to do it? I can... Just a few. That's it. Will you be able to fit a bit more? Let's have a look. Tiny bit more yet. Here we go. Yeah. Just looking for somewhere to eat. We're in like a Chinese um, quarter kind of place. Very pretty. The M&M shop was good. We managed to get a little bag of M&Ms each, didn't we? We got Daddy some as well. It's very pretty. It's so sunny and warm and just nice being in somewhere other than this is so pretty and chinatown there's loads of places to sit outside and eat and it is just gorgeous weather really lovely yeah nice look at this it's so pretty oh i love it we are now in leicester square and um we have decided for a shake shack haven't we yeah. We don't have those in Birmingham, so we're trying to do stuff that we don't have in Birmingham. Yeah. So we're going to have a Shake Shack burger and then we're going to walk down to Cobb Gardens. Oh. Then I think we'll get a uh, nice treat, which thing. Yeah. <laughs> we have come for a little mooch around Covent Garden. We went to the market, didn't we? Yeah. Ethan bought a stress ball, Ellen bought some friendship bracelets. There's loads of places to eat and drink and just generally have a lovely time it's so nice isn't it it's so warm so yeah it's lovely you're like emma you were in london now you're back in birmingham um we left you i think we were in Comp garden maybe i can't remember where we last were 
we went from Covent Garden. <laughs> I guess you got a And he got like a squidgy thing with some of his Spread. pocket money. Mm. That is disgusting. Um, he also, we then went down to South Bank and he got, there was like a second hand book. Um, What's it called? Like a second hand book market and he got that so that you can take that upstairs wait, now. Wait, you got chocolate around your mouth, dude. Please. He says it's made in 1975. And then if you take, you see, wait, should I really You see the front part, that part. If you take that part off, look. It's like a nice fabric. That was made in 1975. That's, that's older than mummy. That's older than you. Yeah. How, how many years older? Two years older than mummy. Oh, Are you going to take those up then, my love? Oh. <laughs> yeah, we went from um, Covent Garden, we walked across the bridge and we went to South Bank where we met my friend Alison and we had some drinks and just a little walk and then we got the train home. I also went to a, like they had at South Bank, they had like a stalls, um, stalls, so sounded like I said stalls then, stalls that sold like posters and stuff. So I picked up, um, these were three, 50, uh, three for 15 pound. I got a Disney one that I can put in a frame. All our dreams can come true if we have the courage to pursue them. It's going in my office guys. Um, I got this Sagittarius, which will either go in my office or might go in Erin's room. Cause she really liked that one, she's Sagittarius. And then here's a fun fact, my dad um, named me Emma after Emma Peel in the Avengers. So I've got that as well to put in a little frame. What else did we get? Erin got a second hand book, because you know she loves second hand books. And then we obviously we got like the M M shop. Uh what they're called. Photo booth things. So it was really, really, really lovely. Um we had a great time. Um we went to the Shake Shack which you saw Covent Garden we basically got off in Piccadilly Circus. Yep, and then walked down to Leicester Square, from Leicester Square to Covent Garden. From Covent Garden, we walked across the bridge to get to South Bank, then we walked all across the South Bank, and then we got the tube back. So we didn't really get the tube all day because I didn't fancy jumping on and off tubes because it is quite hot with your mask on. I will say that most people wore their masks. There were a couple of um, gentlemen that didn't wear their masks on the train going to London, which was a bit annoying. But on the train coming back, the train was really quiet. We got a table, the trains were all spotless. Um, on the tubes, everybody had their masks on. In the shops, everybody had their masks on. Loads of hand sanitizer. So we felt really, you know, felt ha happy and safe there. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Uh, it was fun to film outside again. Uh, and you know always good to to go on a trip with my mum Stephen had a lovely day here just working without any distractions uh, so i will definitely be filming when we go out and about again very very soon so i really hope you enjoyed this vlog give it a thumbs up if you have i would love to hear if you have been anywhere visited anywhere gone on holiday doing anything i hope it's safe and sound where you are i'm very tired i'm gonna have a cup of tea and go to bed love you lots bye guys